Jared Poland Fro Nose Photo. Dot com and welcome to another video where I asked you guys to post on Facebook your best portraits. Now, like I said, from time to time, I'm going to ask for a certain type of photo for you guys to post on the Facebook page and then like the ones that you like. And then I'm going to go over and critique and talk about the images that are there. But before I do that for the ones that are portraits... If you're on Facebook and you haven't liked me yet, please do that. But if you think that you have been missing notifications from me, uh, specifically when I post a request for flying solo questions or for photos to be posted, go ahead under like, highlight over that, hit get notifications, or add me to interest or lists that you have. That way you can be guaranteed that you're going to see the posts that I am posting. That's if you want to see them. And don't forget, I am now on Snapchat. Go to Snapchat and add Frono's photo. It's a great way to follow behind the scenes stuff because it's awesome how the stories work on there. So let's get to this. I asked for portraits this time your best portraits now it reached a lot of people there were a lot of likes let's scroll all the way down to the bottom right now you can see there were 901 comments that generally means almost 900 photos were posted so I'm going to go over the basically scroll down this top 50 and tell you what I think but I really encourage you guys to like the photos of the people that you like or even start following their photography People want to know all the time, how do I build a following? Well, I'm helping you right here, not because you want to build a following, just because you want more like-minded people following your work. Maybe not to get the job, or just maybe to have people see your work that appreciate the photography that you're doing because you're all in, we're all in the same boat. So be sure to start following some of the people that have posted their images here, uh, and they're going to start following you too, so you're getting actual Real deal people who are photographers looking at your stuff. So let's take a look here. This one seems to be voted up to the top. It has uh, 126 likes. Tanya Karawanowski. This is a beautiful portrait. So you can also go there and read the comments. The link is uh, here for going directly to all of these images. This is a beautiful portrait. I love that the, uh, the leaves are falling. That adds dimension to the images, but they're not sharp, which is good. That means that my attention is going right here to the beautiful smile, the beautiful light on her face, as well as uh, the eyes. It's very nice. I really like this image. And remember that Facebook doesn't do great with images. Plus, I'm, I'm zoomed in. Oop. I want to go the other way. I don't know why when I hit plus it did that, but whatever. That's a very nice image. So let's see this next one. That's nice. The cheese grin smile, though... I don't know if that's natural. Maybe, you know what I'm saying for something like this? I mean, I don't mind that it's shot into the sun and we have the glow, but here's some criticism that I that I can find from it. I like the image. I like the colors, and I like... I don't shoot much into the sun. That's personally not my thing. And if it was a D750, it may have got that line. But the cheese grin smile may seem like you said, hey, smile, and then she did the cheese grin smile. The light is beautiful on her. I maybe would like to see it tighter in a rule of thirds. I like... The sea of flowers, wildflowers, it's nice to have a wide shot, but I think the the hill over here kind of detracts, so maybe a slightly lower angle is going to get rid of a lot of that hill in the background, but come in with something more like this. Kind of a rule of thirds right there, throwing her in, and maybe also have her put her hands across the top of the flowers. That kind of reminds me of uh, Gladiator, but also um, another idea <clears throat> is some video. Try getting some video of her walking through the flowers. That could be cool as well. Uh, so that's nice. Michael DeRay. This is nice. I, I, I just feel like the processing is a little overdone. That's just how I feel. This may have been a good black and white, but then again, the subtle color isn't terrible. So that's just how I feel about that. So this guy's eyes make this. Uh, his eyes are really, really making this portrait. He doesn't have a shirt on, but the black and white is gorgeous. The eyes are very nice. Looks like a horizontal shot. I also think because there's so much dead black space, a really nice, I know it's tough with the beard and tough with the hair, but a tighter shot, you know, just a tight shot of the face and the facial hair at the bottom could be really, really cool. So that's a nice shot as well. Ah, a princess from Frozen. So I don't know that this is a real, I mean, I hope it's real snow. I'm trying to figure it out. I mean, it's it's nice. I want to leave more room down here, uh, cutting off the dress. I don't know if this is... Whatever. I don't know if it's real, partly, this extra glowy McGlowerson thing in the back, but it's very nice. 
It's a nice photo. I expected her face to be a little more red if it is really cold and snowy. That's one thing, because I don't know if it's an overlay of fake snow. Just trying to figure it out. Um, just not nitpicking, just asking questions, because that's what this is all about. I want to know how it's done. So that's what it's a beautiful shot nonetheless. It's a beautiful shot. We'll, we'll leave it at that. So here we have a nice face from Andy Clark, but it's very nice too. Uh, nice. Look how this is uploaded to Facebook, and it looks great. I make sure to upload large images. I don't have. I'll, I'll have to. They tell you the best way to upload images, but this is a very, very nice shot. I went ahead and liked this one um, because I liked. Uh, I just like the idea. I like what was going on. It's a. Except is the plug not plugged in? Scotty, Scotty, you got to get the plug plugged in. Then I would have been like, awesome. No, actually, it's, it's really cool. I love the levitation style photo. So I, I like this one too. Um, but it does need more contrast. It needs to tighten up these eyes. They need to pop more. Uh, I, I really feel a higher contrast. Bumping up the contrast slider is going to make this thing go boom, pop, makes me go boom, pop. Yeah. That's what I would say for that one. And then I thought this was really cool, too. I, I, I was trying to figure it out. Anytime there's a perspective shift, Don Yeo, anytime there's a perspective shift and it makes you think, when I'm looking at images and determining whether I like them or don't like them or they grab me or they don't, it's ones that make me go, hmm, are the ones that make me go, hmm. The ones that make you stop and think are the ones that are standing out. Mostly in a good way. So I thought this was cool. Is this hanging onto the monkey bars or standing down below? Just a great perspective shot. Love the out of focus stuff right here. Drawing us in to the kid's face right there. Very nice. This is a very nice shot of the dog, except it's not in focus in the face. That's got to be more in focus. I love the subtle, just the face poking through the shadows. It's just, if I don't think it's sharp at all. Even if it's not sharp here on Facebook, um... I just don't think that shot looked like much. Um, this is nice. It's a square crop. It's not a bad self-portrait. I like the harshness, but I think it's too much over the top. It kind of has a, like, I'm wearing Tin Man's paint from Wizard of Oz. Uh, that's what I'm getting, but beautiful-looking eyes and sharpness right there. The color on this, I mean, the beard, very interesting facial hair for one. Very interesting color hair for two. But, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the yellow hue, it's a soft, <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with my voice. It's a soft yellow feel. It's like a glow, and that's not a bad thing. It looks really nice. It's a very nice portrait. I would like to see more from this entire uh, section, but that's really nice. Let's see. Stephen Spaulding. This is all right. I think too much clumped makeup right here. Somebody would show you how to smooth that out. I don't mind it. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't mind it. I like the subtleness of touching the chin, not really pressing the chin. It's just a little harsh. Pull back on that clarity slider a little bit or get less makeup. Okay, donkey, nothing much there. That doesn't do it much for me. This, mm, not really doing it much for me. I mean, yeah, it's a good self-portrait thing in, in, the, in there. That uh, Well, it's not a self-portrait. Well, I guess it is because she's in it. Um, that's cool. Let's see, what do we think about this? It looks like Taylor Swift, but it's but it's not. Um, so it's lacking the editing. It's 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 a nice image, but it's losing it because it's not popping. And you know, I and yes, I say a lot of things about making your image go boom and pop, but this is just flat and a little bit on the green side on my monitor. I just think it needs to be punched up slightly. Punch up that contrast and you're going to get a better image. I just think it's going to make it tighter. It's going to make it stand out. It's going to make her eyes go pop. Even if you went to black and white, it would be nice, but with a nice lipstick, I think you have to make it go pop more. I really do. Uh, let's see. That's okay. Just not going to be sharp in the face. It's just not a sharp image. And I know people have the people like it, but it's not a sharp image. And again, I take into consideration Facebook when I say that, but that one was just so not even close that I'm pretty sure. This is nice. I like the composition. Beautiful green eyes, nice lips, nice lighting. Pulled back on the editing, on the processing, and I like that. Uh, I would like to see more contrast as a secondary image just to see what one I like better, but I like the muted contrast right here. Very nice job. 
the dog down on the floor is nice. This one, not doing it for me. Uh, this is all right. What is he smoking? A cigarette? Okay, so I'm going to look at this more as a photojournalistic style shot and less of a portrait. Um, but it is, it, it's still a portrait, but I like the photojournalistic aspect of it. You've got the bonsai tree, you've got whatever else is going on here, and you've got the guy here smoking, and it's, it's telling a little story. Too muted for me, too much backlight. I am not a fan of the natural, well, yes, I like natural, no presets, no actions. Well, that, that doesn't, that doesn't, mean that you can't process the image. Just because you didn't use a preset or 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 uh, or actions doesn't mean anything. You should make your own presets. I'm all for making your own. This needs to be punched up. This is gone. The, the, I don't like the... It's just too flat. I wish I could pump it up right here or take it into Lightroom, which I should do at some point, but this needs to be boomified. It just does. This is nice. It's subtle. Cutting the hands off, not hurting me so much. Uh as some other images, but it's a nice feel. I also think a tighter, coming in tighter for a nice portrait would be good. It's, it is nice to get the hands in there, but I think a tighter portrait, black and white, would really make that go really well. This is nice. It's a tight crop. It's, so it's a, it's a square crop, but it's working extremely well. Didn't cut off the fingers. Beautiful eyes here. Be careful about brightening the eyes too much because this one is extremely dark over here and this one's extremely light. I don't think it should be this light naturally, but it's a very nice, look at the contrast. Now, that's a contrast that I love seeing in an image. Um, nice eyes, pull back a little. It's a little overexposed, slightly, a little bit more. Pull back, pull up on the contrast, and boom, this is going to pop a ton. I do like this shot. I like the composition. And look, we got cones in the background that are orange, but they're blown out, so they don't really distract me that much. Um, this is one of those, hey, I'm trying to be an artist. I'm going to put a chair on the side of the road and take some pictures. It's fine. Um, I wonder why they're doing it, but it's a nice shot. Not doing it. Well, not doing it for me. Not doing it for me. Ooh. Ah, come on. Why are we so tight to the side over here? This is beautiful. If this was, if this was a vertical shot, Ryan, this would feel better. If you left yourself a little bit more room, or if you just left yourself more room all around, it's just too tight to the edge. It's like, I'm about to cut off her Gerber cheeks. Chad Davis. I don't know what to say about it other than I think this type of editing reminds me that that it's trying to trying to save it from something. Maybe it's out of focus in the face so he tried to pull back on this type of editing. I'm just not I'm not feeling that type of image too much. Uh that's all right. It's all right. I'm not a maternity type fan. I don't like maternity images. Maybe that's because I don't have any kids or haven't been through it yet. But I really, I just, I just don't like them. And it's nothing against you, David. It's just I don't like maternity shots. I, I just don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. This is all right. So it's probably better, just a low quality one put up. A um, little tight on the crop here. It's not aspect ratioed from the camera. Uh, but it's all right. Uh, this is cool. I love the background. I love the gradation of the background. The dog looks good here. Nice color. Subtle. Um, Jonathan Gipaya, come on, man. You know better than to put people on train tracks. But you did a beautiful job of doing it because it's not a traditional just sitting on a train track. You are on an overpass. This is probably done in Washington State. Jonathan does some amazing photos. Really love his portraits and wedding stuff. Um, reviewed one, reviewed his website before for the Squarespace critiques, and he does a beautiful job. So I don't hate on this as much because it's beautiful, but I really do hate train shot pictures on train tracks look at the glowy mcglowerson of this um some of it's over processed in the background this time i think that may be the added saturation uh so i can't tell whether it's in or out of focus based off of facebook here it's a beautiful image really i mean it looks like a model shot it looks like she's posing with the slight lips open that's what models like to do it's a beautiful shot nonetheless uh would like to see the higher res one to, to give it a tweak something for a raw edit this would be a nice shot as well uh robert timko go follow him you'd like to see his shots but if you're afraid of nudity don't go follow him uh he's got he's good on snapchat as well that's all right, but uh, no, it's not. I mean, the guy's eyes are closed, so I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it because the eyes are closed. If his eyes were open or something, it would be good. I just think he was caught mid-squinch and not liking it at all. I just think I saw this earlier when I was looking through. It's just 
we need more contrast. It's just dead flat. Like, she looks dead flat. I want to see the go punchy because the colors would go pop. I think this would look much nicer if it did that. This is a beautiful shot with leading lines and using natural framing to draw you in to the image. Very nice. It gives you a nice, like, it's a warm feeling image. I really like this. Nice job, Castro. Don't like the horse at all. Processing is no, oh, no. Nope. Nope. And don't take offense to me saying nope, but I just don't like the way that it was shot. It just, the processing isn't very good. Um, and it's not sharp. It could be taken with an iPhone. I don't really know. It just doesn't, and there's nothing wrong with taking it with an iPhone. If it's a good shot, it's just not a good shot. One of my favorites from a fantasy shoot last week. That's nice. I, I was it snow. I mean, she got it. She, she must've been cold Lucas. Um, I like, I mean, this is pu pulled back subtly. I still think even though it's pulled back, that contrast would do it and be very careful with the eyes going too far. But I think if you pump the contrast just a slight amount or up the levels uh, to medium, I think you're going to make this image so much better. All right, Jason, good. So it's soft. That's one hell of a tattoo. I just think there's way too much smoothing done. It's over-processed on the smoothing side. That's cute, but not the best. Um, I kind of sit here and go like this. I want this picture turned the other way. I think it is wrongly oriented this way. And holy God, is that a big watermark? Um, that's a bit. I think if this is rotated the other way, you have a very, very nice image. And I think a lot of people sat here and went like that. That's cute. Nice with the 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 light coming in from here. Just maybe in the future, I, I guide him to turn the other way for some images as well, so that you can get the light coming in. I also want to know why his hands are so dirty. Was he drawing? Did you have the ability to get that stuff into the image? I know this is taking a while, but I just want to go through the, the, the 50 of them that are here. Um, holy wow. Beautiful processing. Um, wow. Look at the, look at his gut. It's like telling a story. That's unbelievable processing. I really like the contrast and feel for this particular image. I think it works out very well. Um, yeah, these are nice. I've done reflection shots as well. Looking at it here, it's subtle. It's nice. It's dark light. Um, I think it works very well. It's a beautiful shot. So I don't know that it's sharp, and I also know that it's too much smoothing here. It's overexposed the way that it is. Pump up the contrast. Pull back on the exposure. You may be able to get the sharpness here. But again, it looks like it wasn't a sharp image, and they're pulling back to try to save it. And I'm not going to feel that one so much. And that takes us through 50 of them or whatever there are here for the 50 out of 901. I highly recommend that you guys go through because there's probably some hidden gems down below that I won't be able to get through or this would be an 8 million hour long video. So definitely go over to the link. It's posted down below where you can see all of the images uh, and, and give people your feedback. It's also a great way for you to get feedback for your work and for other people to see the work that you're doing and for you to see other people's work as well. This is a great opportunity to, to pick up some new followers and to follow some other people in the community of photography. So again, I'm going to do this from time to time. If you missed posting your image because you didn't see that I requested this, be sure to go over here to like and say get notifications. That way you can get notifications that I put this video, I put out a request to do this. Obviously almost a thousand people did it. That's a pretty good thing. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy this. Give me some recommendations for topics down below and don't start posting your best portraits below this video because that theme is done. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.